go. And I didn't see anything at first. But then when I actually looked properly, there's like a big. Is there somewhere? But I can't see where it is in the actual camera. But there is like a big massive thing on the window. here as well but um, that's been there since we brought the car so um, I'm just hoping that we make it to Devon now and the windscreen doesn't just smash into pieces and we all get killed but <laughs> if that doesn't happen you will be seeing this video at some point um, but yeah hopefully things do go okay and we can get it filled in when we get wherever we're going at some point So here is Lakeview Lodge, um, yeah, Lakeview Manor Lodges. And here we are coming on to the park. Oh, there's a nice little like, lake with a little fountain in it. And here's the what I imagine is the I don't really know what that's supposed to be. It's not really it's a manor, there. is it? That? I'm guessing we have to park here, do we? I imagine we'll and then go and get our. So yeah, we're here finally. So here Ian is. Here's the lodge. <laughs> You're gonna let us in, Ian. Yes, we got in as soon as we are. Nice, nice. Yeah, literally apparently just finished cleaning it. Oh, yeah, you nice. can see the floor is wet, so just be careful. So they did say that the floor was going to be wet. But, so this is the lodge. Um, they did make us wait a bit longer than expected because they were cleaning the place up. But, you've got a nice view of it. Lit. Oh, it's quite nice, show yeah, that. Looks like it might be a, a smart TV. It's got a, a YouTube button. So oh, that's, come what... Come <laughs> that's what we like to see. So, yeah. It's quite nice. We'll be whacking that heating on as soon as. And so it's having a good old look around. Um, so here's the bathroom. Where I'm planning on... Uh, there's the obligatory waving in the window shot. In the window, the mirror. Um, there's the bath, so I'll be having lots of baths with my, um, what are they called, bath bombs. This is, um, this is the spare room, oh no, this is our room, is it? This is our room? Yeah, there's just two rooms, so this is our room, and it's got an ensuite, has it? Oh yeah, oh wow, walk-in shower. Oh, gosh, yeah, it's Big old fancy yeah. on the Yeah, wow. And the goal. That's quite nice. Aaron to finish making himself look pretty. Obviously, yeah. I've taken No TV in the bedroom, which is a bit of a letdown, but. Um... Actually, that behind there. <laughs> this is the spare room. This is the spare room where it seems like they uh, love Alice in Wonderland. 
But like I said, oh wow, we've got lots of uh, robes. I know, we can put two on. <laughs> next one. But yeah, I suppose we'll just have to entertain ourselves in the mirrors. Yeah. So what did you say you'd found? Oh, it's quite a nice little yeah, place to sit to put our there. shoes on. It's got an umbrella and then it's got one of these boots removing things. There's a little cupboard here, what's in here? So that's just the ironing board and the mop and iron and... Yeah, the bucket and the mop. A washer dryer. Oh yes. We were worried wash. about how we were going to wash our clothes. It it. Why it's got a dishwasher. So we it are set. Great. Yeah, apart from we didn't bring our dishwashing tablets or yeah, our but we laundry can pick tablets. them up, can't we? Yeah. So yeah, quite impressed with this. It's very, very nice. But I really am dying for a wee now, so I'm going to have to stop the talk. <laughs> so Ian's just going to feed Einstein now that we've. It's kind of got all our stuff in. <laughs> yeah, we brought it in, but it's not. We brought it all in. We brought so much stuff with us. Not really sure why we brought all this stuff just for a week, but we did. I know, we're just making up for last time, aren't we? Yeah, we're out of practice of knowing what to bring on holiday and no, what so not. Else, now I've got bigger boots. Yeah, we like, just I went just crazy. Um, the chip in the windscreen, Ian's yeah, booked for someone to come and fix it on Thursday, so. Yeah, it should be coming here for us, so. Fingers crossed that all goes well. Um, Einstein got a little goodie bag. I'm not really sure what's going to be in it, but we'll have a check in a second. Well, I just want to show them this as well, because there is a little guest book for people to sign. So, um, it says, we hope you enjoy your stay at our lodge. We would appreciate any feedback you may have. Thank you for booking the Chapman family. And this is book two, so they've booked quite a few times. People have booked quite a few times. Or well, they've written the book quite a few. But you guys know that we're going to leave our YouTube channel in there. You just know it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyone that wants to view our holiday while they're on holiday. <laughs> but, yeah, um, let's have a little look, see what's in this little bag. I want to say if this is courtesy of the people that own this place or it's from the actual. Oh, I don't know, I imagine. So let's have a little look. I, don't, I know, I am. Just have a quick look. And so obviously, you do have to pay extra for the dogs, so don't. Obviously. It's, it's oh, yeah. So, schmacko. Oh, really so he yeah. might eat the schmacko. Some little gravy bones. I don't know if he'll eat the gravy bones. Oh, that. We'll have to try him, but, but at the moment he is going crazy for his normal food. He wants his food, don't you, boo boo? So, yeah, we're going to feed him. If it's stop train, we might just take him for a little walk just because he's, he's sleeping too much and he's getting a bit crazy, yeah. And then we're going to get essentials like alcohol um, and. Indian curry. Yeah, because. Let me just turn it around. Because you guys haven't seen me for a bit. Um, so yeah, uh, when we go on host season's holidays, one of the first meals we normally have is a Indian box curry from either Tesco or Alster or somewhere. It was just anywhere. It, yeah, yeah. it's like you know the the ready boxed ones up that you put in the microwave. I know it's it's just like a kind of it is like a trashy kind of thing to to have, but it's just our little uh, tradition now because the first time we went on holiday, it's like the first thing we picked up for something to eat, and then we've just. Had a little tradition of having it every time we go on. Uh, and another thing to note if you come here, guys, is there is no mobile phone signal. So oh, yeah. <laughs> my, my mobile phone signal is terrible anyway. I'm on EE. And I've got none. And I've, Ian's O2. O2. No. None. So, yeah. But we do have Wi Fi. I think each lodge has its own Wi Fi by the looks of it. So we've, you'll just have to WhatsApp call people. Oh, look at that brown goose. It's so cute. Um, how do I? Oh, there we go. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Oh, it's going behind the thing. No brown goose, don't disappear. Oh. Well, he was there anyway. Anyway, it's a nice view though, isn't it? It's gorgeous. And I cannot wait to get into the hot tub. You know it. Hey. We're back from Tesco. We got the... Um, Indian ready meal. That's it just... said it came with a free drink. Um, yeah. Not a free drink. It was like it's a 50p more for a drink, but 
We can't find no. we can't find the drinks that they're after. What they're on about? Scanning while he was, it didn't look like it was working, so we're just glad. We've got some hummus and some of these. What are these things called? Oh, cheese twists. Dip in them. Mmm. Mm. Topped up with cooked milk and cooked chicken. We got some whiskey. Mm -hmm. Got some Rivita thins. They're there somewhere. Um. A little bit of a problem though. We couldn't get the TV to like connect to the internet or work or get the channels on. So luckily we brought our own fire stick. Yeah, hopefully once we connect it to the internet. We'll be able to at least watch stuff on a fire stick. So that's something to bear in mind. It's quite scary going to the Tesco and then back again because the roads are so narrow. It was just yeah, it was proper narrow coming off this part. So here's our food. Ian's wonderfully made it for us. Wonderfully reheated it for us. Wonderful. Ian has made it. So I did a combination of keeping stuff warm in the oven whilst microwave and the rest. We kind of um, a pro at that now, aren't you? Making these. Yeah. Um, where's the dessert? Oh, and for dessert we got something we've never seen before. But it was reduced. It was, but annoyingly reduced by 40p. But <laughs> so, some long johns, which it seems like a, a bit like a donut, with like cream, a bit like an eclair mixture. But yeah, so, it looked interesting. But yeah, we'll give you thought, give you our <laughs> thoughts once we've tried them. But yeah, we're gonna have our tea now, ain't we? Yeah. Hello. Guess who's in the hot tub? It's me. <laughs> and Ian's in here too, but yeah, kind of yeah, just trust. Then Einstein's just potting around on the. But you can see the moon from here. If you can see it from here, it is nice that Einstein's in. He's just potting around. Is that right in there? I think that's the moon there, you can yeah. just see it, yeah, it looks really cool. It's quite nice, it's just something out to the trees. And there's the trees, up there. you probably can't see the trees, but... Yeah, you never know, it does not do quite well in low light. Yeah. There's an Ian somewhere there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's down to over there somewhere. Yeah, just so yeah, we're just enjoying some hot tub time machine time. Um, it's a little spooky, it's like, you know, when you take it, tell ghost stories and you get the candle under your chin. It's a bit like that. So we're just going to have some hot tub time and then probably some dessert. I, yeah. think, I think we deserve it, don't you? Well, it needs it needs eating. Let's be fine. So, hey guys. We're just having a little walk around the park this morning. It's um, ours is that one there next to the blue car. Um, we're trying to find a dog walking area because apparently there's a dog walking area here, but um, these pebbles aren't really great for Einstein's feet. He doesn't tend to like walking on pebbles, so we're trying to find the dog walking area, but some of this, like, the scenery, like, I think you can walk down there. It's quite nice. But I imagine you can walk through here. And then... Oh yeah, so here's the dog walking area. So kind of like near to the the pond bit now. Yeah. We'll have to try and pick up some. Look at these mushrooms. Should we eat them guys? You comment down below.
so here's the other part of the site. It looks like they're developing. The developing yeah, they've put a few lodges already. And I said, nice how spaced out they are. But then he was telling me that there's Wait, looking at you can see other the spaces, parts. yeah, where they're adding more. But yeah, it's quite a nice site. And then they've got a lake here as well. More duck. Little duckies. It's got a nice path to walk on, isn't it? Oh yeah, this path's nice. If okay. there was a path like this all the way around, it'd be brilliant. But there's a lot of this stony path, and um, Einstein doesn't like walking on. Well, it isn't that he doesn't like it, it's just that it hurts his feet. But, um, yeah, it's quite a nice little view there of the, the lodges. A good view of our lake. Yeah. So I couldn't tell you which one's our lodge from here, but... Yeah, it's one of those down there. I imagine it's that one with the white fab outside. Oh, right. Yeah. So I could be wrong. But... but yeah, then we're going to be walking off down this way now yeah. and around to, cause it it's like loops around. So, we'll do that. So here's a slightly I'm damp... I'm soaking wet. A slightly damp, Aaron. And here they've got their own, like a holiday where you can just... A holiday hotel where you can just like rent rooms and it's nice how you've got like your own entrance from the external to get into some it's of these rooms. Up, yeah, you can get up those steps there. Like ah, uh, no. Nah. It'll just be <laughs> a nice balcony but that's one of the more expensive rooms if that's a room. Yeah, they've got a more car park in there and there. And then this is like the building where it's like the pub and the restaurants and you can go and have your breakfast. It's quite it's nice in there, isn't it? Breakfast still at £10. Yeah, it's ten pounds per what person. Quiz like? For breakfast. You think you're gonna win the quiz, do you kid? <laughs> so that's the main reception. I would have thought we'll try and just get our breakfast out somewhere today. And you can see the sort of set up for breakfast in there. And then they've got this nice conservatory at the back where they tend to serve people's evening meals. Here's the reception car park where we parked when we first came. Go down from the gate. Yeah. And then here's probably the most pretty of the lakes just because it's got a lot more pretty planting in that around it. And yeah, it has got a water feature that they can turn on. And then that's the way out. Obviously you know you're in Devon because the roads to get to here are quite narrow from once you get off the main road. Here comes a car. But yeah, this is it. And that's an idea of what it looks like when you come in. Hey, so we're just in the Dublin Dublin Duck. It's just that way you can probably see from yeah, I don't know if you can or not. But yeah, it's just on the wall there. Um, we're just having a couple of drinks because we've not actually been in here properly yet, apart from checking. And um, it would be nice to just have a bit of a drink actually on site. So we're doing that. Um, this is quite a nice like little section here. But then obviously there's the meals through that side where you have like the um, conservatory. I can't see much from here. And then there's the view outside the window. Quite a nice little view. Um, you probably saw it from the outside this morning. But yeah, um, Einstein's allowed in as well. Apparently dogs are allowed um, in, in all the bar area and stuff, and the food area, I think so. Not the kitchen, obviously, but um... Hey! Hey there! So Ian picked up some gins for us. Ooh, gin! Um, he says one With is... 
Oh, what, Lin, um, how much do they cost? Because they are they're quite expensive. These two came to ten pounds forty. I don't so think it's like that's actually that bad. No one thought no. so. But it's a lot more expensive. Oh, I don't. I don't have, <laughs> yeah. So this one is. It's a watermelon and lime gin, and then this one's a raspberry gin. They did have other flavours, like rhubarb. So you're gonna try them? And that's not what you can do. Yeah, can you try a bit of other? Yeah, yeah. That was not bad neither. So yeah, I don't know if it's because it's got the freeze dried raspberries in, but that one has the more, you can tell it is more. More flavourful. Yeah. But I did wimp out and go for gin and lemonade. I don't know if that alters the flavour too much. Because I, mm. I know gin and tonic is good for drinking slow, but. Yeah, the raspberry one's better, isn't it? The raspberry one, you can tell it's raspberry. I suppose watermelon. It's got melons. more of a subtle flavour. Yeah, watermelon is a lot more subtle. That's why they stuck it with lemon. But it's anyway, we're going to have these. Yeah. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Wish you were here. Hey, so we've moved on to uh, rhubarb and ginger. ginger. So this is rhubarb and ginger wine we need. And even though it smells like something familiar, but it isn't rhubarb. Mm. As it kind of smells like, maybe like it's got kind of like a granny smell to it. Can't describe it, but it, it doesn't taste good, but it's very comforting. It's like, it's like a kind of fusty smell, mm. I don't know, but it's just something but, familiar yeah. and, and comforting about it. But then we've got the blood orange one. And that smells like orange and it smells like blood. But I said, you know like the coppery smell, you get like the coppery bloody smell. I can smell copper and blood I can smell copper and orange in it. And even though it it tastes a lot better. I think I prefer the other one, I don't, I don't know, I feel really confused about it. They've also got tonic in these ones and not lemonade this time, so, yeah, so that's kind of ruined the experience a bit for Ian. Yeah, I'm not used to that. <laughs> Which one's your favourite out of those two? I suppose they push the, the orange one just because it has... And it just tastes a little bit less bitter to me. And what's your favourite out of all four of them? Probably the raspberry one because mm. it was. The raspberry one was I nice, but I don't know if it's because of the lemonade. Whether you'd have had the had them all with tonic, whether you would have liked. Probably wouldn't like the raspberry one because it just was. I don't know. A bit nice. I don't know if then if it was because they put the raspberries in there, got more of a smell of raspberries. Oh, yeah, it could be. But yeah, I think I do prefer gin and lemonade than gin and tonic just because I'm a bit of a. I'm not that good with bitter things. Yeah. But um, it's still been a nice little experience yeah. anyway. <laughs> hey! Um, we've just come back from Exeter. We're gonna have a little bit of a hot tub sesh. Ooh, hot tub sesh. Um, which. By sesh, I mean just sitting in the hot yeah. tub enjoying life. And on. It's quite a nice little afternoon now. Yeah, the sunny. sun's come out now. A gentle breeze, so yes. it should be perfect hot tub. Ian's made me a coffee. I've then eaten his chew. So, yeah. We didn't get a whole lot from Exeter because it was just like... It, it was a big place and we didn't really know where we were properly going after the cathedral. No, but we are hoping to go to Honiton tomorrow. Yeah. And from what we see, Honiton looks quite interesting. There's a couple of shops that I'm interested in going into. So we'll probably pop off to there tomorrow, but we're just going to have a little bit of a chill tonight and we're going to... Ian's booked us in. Have you booked us in? Yeah, we've for... booked in for half seven to eat at the restaurant here. So it'll hopefully give us time to 
work up an appetite, so to speak. Yeah, no, because we even though all we had was that mixed grill or whatever, and whatever you had, just had a, like a wrap with salad, and then a piece of cake. Yeah. It's like I'm absolutely like stuffed. So we'll just have to see. Yeah. Hopefully by then we will feel hungry. It's hopefully. So. If not, go for a run before we go. <laughs> so we are in the restaurant on site. There's Ian. Ian's had a venison pie. Never had venison before. Yeah, never had venison. It was one, it was pie of the day, wasn't it? And I've had a chicken burger and gin. <laughs> he's there asleep. Well, he's just sat under the chair watching. So this is like the only meal we've had on site. Terrible. But yeah, let's see where we what we eat tonight. Yeah, looks fairly good though. Hey, hey there guys, <laughs> so we've just got back from having our main course at the Dabbling Duck, which is the on site restaurant. As you probably saw, I had the pie, Aaron had the chicken burger. And on the whole, the food was all really good. Yeah. Obviously, you feel like maybe you pay a premium for eating on site, but it yeah. was all good. So we got, I had two Harris red wines, Aaron had two gin and lemonades, lemonades flavoured, and two main courses, and it did come to... £48 pound something, so yeah, roughly about £50. Pounds. So yeah, it's not something that our budgets would allow <laughs> us to do for every night of the trip, but it is no. nice to It was splurge. nice to try, and obviously for the video we want to try the restaurant, just so if you guys wanted to come here you'd know what it was like. Yeah. But and yeah, the food, nice. was, the food was good. Yeah, we were able to take Einstein in, yeah. which Lots. was a big bonus, and so we didn't have to leave him. But yeah, just to edit, just to um, have with the videos, we're doing a little final thoughts of the place. And so this obviously has nothing to do with the place, but in Exeter, <laughs> when we went for our day trip today, we managed to get Sainsbury's pumpkin spiced cake. This is what I've been trying to find this for ages. And it did have loads in the Exeter city centre one, so. But we had gone to one on the outskirts of Exeter and it was all sold out. So. Yeah, and I couldn't find any at home, so we we looked out. Well, depending on what it tastes like, we yeah. looked out. And so as you can see, it's just a, a slab of cake. It's not got anything in the middle. It's just got the buttercream or cream cheese frosting on top with a bit of a sprinkling of pumpkin spice goodness, I imagine. So we'll just see what it's actually like. What, what are you thinking? It's very carrot cakey to me actually. It is a lot like a carrot cake if you just didn't put the carrot in. What else it's like? Like a ginger biscuit? A ginger nut biscuit? Do you know Slightly, but it's not got the same ferocity of ginger as a ginger biscuit. Mm. But it's pleasant, but I don't think it was worth the trouble Three of pounds. trying to find <laughs> hey, I don't know £3 isn't bad for a cake really well nowadays I don't know is it <laughs> I feel like yeah, I keep asking everyone yeah. is it good or not I just Obviously don't know the price of everything's gone up but mm. it's nice but I'm not sure if I'm getting pumpkin spice are you I'm not getting anything pumpkin you're obviously getting a bit of spice which is making us get the carrot cakey gingerbreadiness of it yeah but it's not too bad. I don't feel like I don't want to finish it. It's not bad, but I'd be surprised if we bought another one this season. Mm. So, so yeah. On the whole, we've had a great time stopping at Lakeview Manor Lodges. What would you say the pros of staying there were? It's reasonably handy for going to different places. It's got a hot tub, somewhere to eat on site, dog friendly. Hmm. What do you say the cons of it? Mm. Some the of the roads getting in and out. <laughs> are a bit narrow. <laughs> yeah. They are. Um, it's all part of the experience. Yeah. I don't think there's any actual cons, really. I don't think you can really come to... Devon and 
not expect to go down some <laughs> scarily narrow roads from time to time. And it is only a short little drive down the road to get here. The rest of the roads to get here weren't too bad, as far as I can. As you can hear, Einstein is going crazy because we're sat up here eating. He's down there, not eating. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's a definitely a, a nice, relaxing place to come. Yeah. On the staff are lovely, aren't they? Yeah. They've, put, they've made such a fuss of Einstein. They've been, they've been really good, even with the other people we've seen them with. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a pretty pleasant stay. Yeah, it's definitely something we consider coming back to. Yeah. So yeah, so we hope that you enjoy getting an idea of what it's like stopping at the late few lodges, mm. late few many lodges. Let us know how you feel about this type of video because we used to do host seasons holidays, but we used to put in everything that we did yeah. in between as well. So it was mainly just for our own. Yeah, it was like yeah, we were vlogging just to like for our own little memories. But this time I thought we'd do like a vlog of the actual place and what it's like and then a separate vlog of the places we visited. So let us know what you thought, if you think this is better or if we should just incorporate everything all together. But yeah. And so thanks for watching guys. <laughs> we'll speak to you in our next video. Bye for Bye. Now.